making this video to bash anybody. I don't know this woman. Viewers, I want to ask questions. If you are a person that loves to wear wig and you are watching this video, I want to hear your opinion. Why do you wear wig? What is the essence of you wearing wig? I want you to comment in the description box. My own, I wear wig sometimes. If I am to go out or go to work, I put on a wig. I moisturize my scalp. And uh, I often wear lace closure wig, not frontal. And I don't glue down my wigs either. If I am back from work, I remove my wig. I will allow fresh air to penetrate on my scalp. I moisturized my scalp before putting on a wig. I don't wear wig to damage my own hair. I preferred my own real natural hair than wig. Because I found that, that people are using wig to represent their natural hair. Some people care about wig more than their own real natural hair. So some salon they are after advertising their business. As for me, I I do hair for people. And I am after taking care of my clients' hair. I want their hair to be healthy. But some some hairdresser, they are after money and they are after advice. They are after using you to say, oh, that you can't see the lace. Oh my gosh, stop. You can't see the lace. It's fake. You can't see the lace. They glue it down with harmful glue and then you will end up losing a lot of hair. And a lot of people, they will sew in wig. You know it comes, especially the lace wig. It comes with combs. It comes with legs. Very harmful to your scalp. Very harmful to your natural hair. Especially our edges. Very sensitive. And you use glue to glue it down. And then with the lace, it's looking good for the first day. But after a week, you will look horrible. Look at this woman. It looks like if this woman knows nothing about wig. But the hairdresser would have just educate her. Educate her. Tell her about the harmfulness. How many days she is to keep the wig. I wouldn't allow my client to sew in a wig more than one week. If you are to get so in with, that one is different than you wig with pins, with lace. You sew it on, you have it for long, and you end up losing your hair. You end up having alopecia that you will never get your hair back forever. And later on, you will start to blame yourself. Women, let us care for our own hair. Ever since I started selling my oil, Freedom Styles Magic Hair Growth Oil, I got to learn a lot of women, especially black women, thousands of black women. Pictures, videos I am getting every day for women that lost their hair due to going to salon and they glue down lace to their scalp. They will say, you can't see the lace. Oh my gosh. If you are able to wear wig, let's uh, frontal wig, make sure you are also to remove it. Use like a little bit of gel to lay it down. When you are back, spray in water, remove it, allow fresh air to penetrate. I just want to hear your opinion, the reason of you wearing wig. One of my followers sent me these videos and their pictures. And oh my God, this woman, I think her Instagram, let me check her Instagram. What is her Instagram? Her Instagram is the official Razor Chick. The woman is amazing. And then she does, and she's also educating people to just avoid harmful, harmful lace that will damage your hair. And then you, I like I put what she wrote, and you can also follow her on Instagram. She's amazing. She does a lot of great hairstyles, razor cut. And then you can see how she transformed this uh, woman's hair. Very beautiful. But her hair, then she will never. It, it will take time for her to get her real hair back, especially edges. And if you look closer to the pictures and to the videos I showed, you will see this summer, the lace, 
the glue they used that made her hair, especially on her edges. Women, let us learn how to care for our own natural hair. I think the first day, it will be looking so nice. And the person will share the pictures on Instagram. They will say, you can't see the lace. Oh my God, stop, you can't see the lace. And after some days, you will be looking horrible. In this kind of wig, are you able to moisturize your scalp? No! Eh? Like a weed. I mean, it really does. Mm -hmm. it's, it's perfect. Their colors just, yeah, it's like it's brightening up everything. That is so pretty. Now, what time I come back next week? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that color is just, that's yeah. what made really fine. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty. I hate her. I know, right? <laughs> Number one. Yeah. The Bible says hair is the beauty of a woman. It's true. Sometimes if I have my own real natural hair, I look like a diva. A lot of people, a lot of good compliments. People will be giving me a lot of great compliments. I love your hair. I love your hair. It makes me feel good. For you, I don't know what you think of your hair. Maybe your hair is a disgrace to you and you just want to cover it up. Wigs are meant to wear occasionally. If you get a braided wig, put it on when you are back. Remove it. Remove it. If you have a husband and you are not bold enough to remove wig in his present, he is not your husband. He's an outsider. Why do you want to sew down a, a wig for months? I am just addressing this issue. It's because of messages, pictures. That women are sending me due to lack of how harmful lace frontal lace wigs are if you sew them on. If you lose your it takes time to grow back. Wigs are made to wear and remove, not you sew in a wig, especially lace wig with combs on for months or for weeks. No. No, learn how to take care of your own real hair. If I wear a wig, if I am back, eh, I will remove it. Eh? It feels good. If I, you know the feelings of you removing your wig if you are back from work. What are your thoughts about women that are doing harmful hairstyles? You do you know the feelings? Wig is just made to look extra sometimes, not to damage your hair. Let us learn from this.